Understanding. Can we move on in English? Hello, everyone, and welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a common English phrase. Can we move on? This phrase is often used in conversations and can be a bit tricky for learners. So, let's dive in and unravel its meaning together. Can we move on? Is a phrase used in English to request a change in the topic of discussion or to signal a desire to leave a current activity or subject. It's often used in meetings, discussions, or even casual conversations. The phrase can have different nuances based on the context and tone of the speaker. Understanding these nuances is key to using it correctly. Informal settings. In a meeting or a formal discussion, can we move on? Might be used to suggest progressing to the next agenda item or topic. It implies that the current subject has been sufficiently covered or that time constraints require moving forward. In informal situations, in casual conversations, the phrase can indicate the speaker's desire to change the topic, perhaps due to discomfort or lack of interest in the current subject. It's a polite way to steer the conversation in a new direction. The tone when saying, can we move on, can greatly affect its interpretation. A friendly tone might simply suggest a gentle nudge to a new topic, while a more stern tone can imply impatience or frustration with the current discussion. Avoid using, can we move on? to abruptly end a conversation without considering the feelings of others involved? It's important to gauge the situation and use the phrase appropriately to maintain politeness and respect. Let's see a few examples. In a meeting, we've discussed the budget extensively. Can we move on to the marketing strategy now? In a casual talk, this topic is a bit gloomy. Can we move on to something more cheerful? I hope this video has helped clarify the usage of, can we move on, in English? Remember, the key lies in understanding the context and tone. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.